Well, gamma knife stereotactic radio surgery is a technique uh, that was invented by a neurosurgeon, Dr. Lars Lexell in Sweden back in the late 60s. Uh, it became very popular here in the United States in the 90s. The first gamma knife was installed in 1987, and now there are about 175 or so gamma knife facilities throughout the United States. It's a non-invasive, minimally invasive way to treat these benign tumors in a single day. Uh, the patient comes in the hospital, a stereotactic frame is applied to their head. That frame will hold their head in position so there's no movement. It also provides a great deal of accuracy. An MRI is done and then we do the treatment itself, which usually takes between 30 and 45 minutes and the patients go home the same day. The, the success rate of gamma knife radiosurgery is very, very high. Uh, we quote uh, typically for a, a small to medium sized tumor, the success rate is about 95 to 98 percent, uh, which means the ability for the gamma knife to control the rate of tumor growth 95 to 98 percent of the time. Gamma knife radiosurgery is in fact radiation. It's a, a radiation that's delivered in a very, very precise, very focused way to try and kill the tumor cells or keep these tumor cells from the dividing. There's no actually cut, cutting involved, so it's not uh, like a knife or like real surgery. The patients come in, they have the treatment, and they go home. They don't look or feel any different uh, that night or the next day. In fact, most are back to work the following day.